like to welcome all of you dito sa aming farm school para sa paglunsad na isa namang magandang programa. This time we are launch, relaunching like sa gift bukas. Yan po ang name ng aming uh, anti-drug program namin dito sa Las Piñas noon na ginagawa namin sa mga public schools. But noon, ang kinakausap namin ay yung mga kabataan na huwag silang magagamit ng bawal na gamot. But this time, this is a truly rehabilitation program kasi ang naandito ay mga patient na. Alam naman natin lahat dito na ang administrasyon ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ay all out ang paglaban sa mga illegal na droga na talaga namang sumisira sa kinabukasan ng mga kabataan as well as their families. The alarming increase of drug users and pushers have destroyed many families and futures. At hindi naman kaya lahat ng gobyerno ang paglutas ng problemang ito. Lalo na't mahigit na daw isang daang libo ang uh, surrenderist under the oplang tokohang ng Philippine National Police. We all have to do our part. Villar Sipag and our partners are doing our part through Sagip Bukas. The program is in partnership with the Philippine National Police, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Department of Health, Department of Interior and Local Government, Department of Agriculture, and Office of the President, as well as the Allied Botanical Corporation, Las Piñas General Hospital, Diocese of Paranaque, Las Piñas City Health Office, and the Las Piñas Mayor's Office. Uh -oh. uh, pina Pinaabot po sa inyo ni uh, Mayor Imelda Aguilar na uh, siya ay hoping that this program is very full. Yung aking pong sister-in-law na yon medyo matatakutin sa ganito. Kaya sabi niya, ako na lang daw. As the national government continues its successful campaign against drugs, we need to provide opportunities for the surrenderers so they can start a new life. The participants in our rehabilitation program will be uh, uh, 120. Yung nakatapos ng requirement ng values formation session mula sa kanilang mga respective communities. We have also lined up a well-rounded training for them na matutulungan sila in various aspects of their rehabilitation. For the next 12 weeks, two days a week, they will be trained about health and wellness by the Las Piñas General Hospital. The legal aspects of drugs or substance abuse by the PNP and the, I think, DOJ will help yung mga ating mga, nag-volunteer yung ating mga judges. Okay? And, and of course, on farming, tuturuan po kayo ng uh, Allied Botanical Corporation. You will also participate in the cleanup and mangrove planting of DNR. Sana cash for work to. Sabihin mo sa boss mo. No? Kasi sabi ni Yusek, eh yung greening daw may cash for work yun. No? So, sabihin mo, oh, kaya para mas meaningful. Oh, oh. Kasi pa, ma, hahango sila ng produce from our farming, but they will also have cash for work for greening, okay? Nine billion greening program of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Sagib Bukas is a long-running long program of Villar Sipag. It was one of the flagship projects of then Villar Foundation, which we launched in 1994 as a school-based anti-drug abuse campaign. Since inception, in Inception, Sagip Bukas has benefited over 80,000 Sagip Bukas, 80,000 students, and earned for the City of Las Piñas a special award jointly given by the Office of the President and the Department of Interior and Local Government for a well rounded approach to the drug abuse problem. In line with the government's strong stand against drug addiction, this is the perfect time to relaunch Sagip Bukas. Hangad natin na sa pamamagitan ng ating programa, we can really rehabilitate members of our community and reintroduce them as productive members of society. Based on reports, the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency ay uh, meron ng 8,000 barangay nationwide ang itinuturing na drug infested. Dito lang sa Metro Manila, 92% of barangays are affected by illegal drugs. 
hangad natin na sa mga barangay dito sa ating syudad ay mabawasan at tuluyang nang mawala ang problema ng drug addiction. Para lalo pong makatulong na maisulong ang drug-free society sa ating bansa, I also filed Senate Bill No. 718 that seeks to establish accessible and affordable rehabilitation centers in every province and city in our country. Kulang na talaga ang mga rehabilitation centers sa ating bansa. Isinusulong ko na rin gawing libre ang rehabilitation at treatment ng mahihirap na mga drug dependents at gawing chargeable sa PhilHealth ang rehabilitation expenses. Our concentrated efforts are really needed to support the government in the campaign against illegal drugs. Kailangan tayo magtulungan para mapanalunan natin ang laban sa illegal na droga. Sama-sama nating sagapin ang kinabukasan ng ating mga pamilya at ng ating mga kabataang Pilipino. With that message, marami pong salamat. Welcome to the Villar Sipag Farm School. And I hope you will enjoy your stay here for the next three months. Marami pong salamat. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat.